All right, guys, real quick before I put this or uh, add the audio to the commentary, um, I was going to originally put this over a TDM on firing range, but watching it back, it was pretty boring. So here is me attempting to use a shotgun on Summit, and if I don't think I talked about the gameplay at all in this commentary, but if it doesn't make any sense, that's why. So uh, enjoy the video, guys. All right, it'll start in like the next half second. Yo, what's up, everyone? Um, this is just a quick video. I listened to... Last night's so I think they put painkiller already up. I listened to like an hour and a half of it I didn't listen to all of it, but I wanted to give my opinion on it because they talked about a couple uh, important subjects one they said that um, Gaming doesn't have a prominent spot on the YouTube homepage like you'll see like blogs and stuff, but you rarely see gaming videos um I Gotta agree. I think gaming's probably one of the bigger things on YouTube. No one wants to watch Sorry, I don't want to, like, say Shay Carl sucks, dude, but I watched his vlogs for, like, a month, maybe, when he started doing them. Like, the everyday ones, and then they just got old. I don't know how... Again, not it's not just him, but all the vlogs. I don't know how everyone can watch those every day and continue to give them, like, 300, 400,000 views a day on those. But I think most of the views come from people auto-playing on their channels, because if you look at, like, insights and stuff, you can see, uh... Like how much a video is played from autoplay, and like the sub box will be like five, ten thousand maybe, and autoplay will be the rest of like these bigger YouTubers. But yeah, I think gaming needs like a prominent spot on the YouTube like browse page because it is one of the bigger things right next to comedy, I would say. And I don't even know if makeup is big or not. I know a lot of people do, a lot of girls do those, but I think it's only like four or five big ones. There's a lot of YouTube commentators who have anywhere from like thirty to hundreds of thousand subscribers for uh, Call of Duty, I'd say there's like 20 maybe, I don't know, there's a lot, but, what was I talking about, yeah, they need a new uh, prominent spot on the homepage, the giveaways, I heard X-Jaws and White Boy were like switching up days that they could get on the most viewed, that is really douchey, I'm glad they're gonna stop doing that, not that they acknowledged that uh, it was douchey, I don't think they said that, but, um, yeah, props to X-Jaws for going on that podcast, uh, and saying like what he felt. And I think the dude's name was Foyz, for I don't even know, Foyz I think, uh, he was good on there too, he basically called everybody out and spoke his opinion, even when other people, when everyone else in that podcast disagreed with him, like Woody and Kyle, he still spoke up against them, so, yeah, um, <laughs> props to him, and about miscategorizing, <laughs> can't talk, about miscategorizing videos to get them more views, I think putting gameplay in um, entertainment is fine because it's entertaining. If you look at a video that has like a lot of editing and stuff, like montages, uh, I think those are entertaining. So it's fine to put those in there. Woody talked about like how he does like vlogs over gameplay, and what I think people make gameplay to do, like your first couple videos, you'll talk about the gameplay, or like the first minute you'll talk about it. But basically, the majority of commentators do like vlog type stuff over gameplay. So I think that. Um, if your video is about that, then put it in vlogs. I I don't see a difference between you filming yourself and talking about your life, or you playing Call of Duty and talking about yourself. So, yeah, and Woody puts up like a lot of good like advice vlog type videos. And I think people just use Call of Duty because it's entertaining. It builds you an audience, and then once you get an audience, people want to know more about yourself than, than the gameplay. And you'll still use the gameplay because it's fun. That's what people subscribe to you for in the first place. But, um, like, look at guys like Tabe. Now I think he posts a lot of, uh, like, vlog-type stuff with gameplay mixed in. And I wouldn't be surprised if he just, like, made a new channel and switched over to just vlogging and, like, sketches and stuff, because that's what he seems to be into. And he always has good gameplay videos, but Tabe's pretty funny, so I think if he made, like, a vlog channel, people would watch it. Um, well, there's more time in this video than I thought there was. Uh, so I put a video up for Woody's March Madness contest, and I don't know when he's gonna start evaluating them. I just posted, like, the watch link into the comments, and then posted it as a video response. So I hope he checks out all of them. I don't know how many people entered. There's probably, like, thousands of people who entered into it. I don't know if I'll just, like, go through the comments and watch all the videos or what. But he said on that Painkiller Ready podcast that they're not going to do like likes, they're going to judge based on, they're going to have a bunch of judges and like vote on it, which is good, because if somebody bigger enters, they can just ask everyone to like their video, kind of like they were doing with giveaways, and monopolize themselves to win that, so uh, that's good that Woody's looking out for that, and he'll pick whoever is the best commentator, 
There's a lot of people I watch who don't have that many subs, and they're pretty good, so it's great that everyone will get exposure who enters that. And if anyone didn't see it yet, it's on, like, Woody. I think every commentator uploaded a promo for it, but definitely enter that. Um, it's, uh, you got nothing to lose doing it, so, yeah. Um, this is a really old gameplay. I have not been playing Black Ops at all. I'm going to try to play it some this weekend, and maybe get some good gameplay videos. I got a lot of, uh... Call of Duty 4, I played, I haven't played that a lot either, but I've got a lot of good like headquarter games and stuff, they're just kind of long, I don't know if I'll just like post some of them with music or whatnot. Um, I don't really play free for all because it kind of bores me, but I'm sure it'd be easier to get some good free for all gameplays. The thing I hate about free for all and Black Ops is you're limited to Hacker or Ninja, and without Hacker, the motion sensors in the Claymores are ridiculous, but... I also like having ninja. Ninja isn't like a necessity in this game, so I think hacker would be better, but I don't know. I guess it also depends on the map too. So Yeah, what was I talking about? This gameplay is over soon. Um if you like my channel, subscribe for more videos like this and